welcome to Dealer's Choice. This is episode 20. This is Do or Die Time. We're at episode 20. These three players are fighting to get into the top three because looking at how much they scored overall, it's that close to being number three. Up first, the current champ who has came back with us with a score of an astounding 28750 bucks and a trip to Las Vegas. It's Scott Michaels. Scott, how you feeling? Man? I'm feeling good. Feeling a little nervous because I want. I, I, I've made it this far of a push, and I want to try to just make that last second jump for the TOC. I got you. I got you. To these two men here standing to your immediate right, they're hoping to stop you. You gonna let them do that? Well. Gonna have, have to see how the chips, chips fall tonight. tonight. That's, That's all I'm gonna say. All right, fair enough. And now, their other opponent, he is currently number three, hoping to stay that way with a victory here. He comes in here with an astounding 39,219, a few prizes himself. It's Brandon Hinkle. Hinkle, welcome back, brother. Thank you, Chair Dick. It's so good to see you, good sir. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm doing awesome. All righty, all righty. Hinkle, you're fighting to stay alive to be in the top three for big cash and prizes come out Tournament of Champions season finale. Do you think you have the luck and skill to beat your opponents? I'll give the all I can do. I'll just have to hope the heart of the cards, as Yuki would say, and let's see what happens from there, you know. I'll just give it all my I can do. All righty, fair enough. And last, but certainly not least, you're probably wondering why he's here. Well, due to his short but uh, very successful championship reign, he is also in contention, currently ranked number four, who's coming back with $33,800, a trip to Acapulco, and a motor scooter. It is the Californian Reaper, only in anime. It's Corey Lawrence. Corey, welcome back, brother. Thank you. Thank you, Chandrick. Thank you, Ken, sir. Yes. Now, how is it that you feel that during your short few episodes you've been on here, you are now within striking distance of being our tournament of champions? How do you feel, brother? After, After pegging, pegging Nels down, down, I feel like, like I have a good shot. Oh, mercy. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Do you think you're going to peg Scott and Hinkle out of that position or you be number three? Huh? Depends on what happens. That is fair enough. And ladies and gentlemen, give it up for all of our players. This, I feel, once again, is going to be a close race. But it all depends how the game be going. You know the rules. We play four games. And the person with the most chips will not only win, but will guarantee themselves a third position if the luck is on their side. And you know how we start in games off? A randomizer is selection of the 12. And we have... Oh, here we go. Derby at again. You know the rules. Our maximum chip bet is 10 chips. The objective here is try to bet on which horse is going to finish line first. The blue horse will finish 1, 2, and 3 will move. Yellow 4 and 5 and red with 6. Blue horse, if you bet on him, will pay you 1 to 1 odds if he crosses first. 3 to 1 odds at the yellow and 5 to 1 odds for the red. Scott, the champ, we start with you. How much you bet? I'm going the whole 10. He's going 10, but which horse you putting it on? Okay. Um, it worked the last time I played this. Yellow. He's going yellow. All right. Hinkle? I'm going with a mighty five on blue. He's going putting five on blue. Corey, last but not least. Ten on three to one. All right, 10 on 3 to 1. All right, the bets are in. Hoping for the best. Here we go. Last time we had a close one. All horses were one away. Will we have it again? Let's find out. The race is on. We got a three. Blue horse coming out the gates. Another roll coming. Another three. Blue horse out in front. Come on, I want to see something else. Another three, my goodness, Blue Horse is taking it. He's halfway home. Another roll here. Another three, I don't believe it. 
from this PR that she wrote here. Is it all open like this? I don't believe it. Five threes in a row. The blue horse takes it. I don't believe it. Unprecedented. Uh, Yahtzee. Uh, I, yeah, Yahtzee. Oh, my goodness. Scott, unfortunately, Yellow did not win this time. Hinkle, you win all five rolls of three. Unbelievable. And, uh, Corey loses 10 chips to the house. Folks, after that, a uh, very short dealer's derby. Sorry, folks, you won another barn burner. I guess the dice say no. Uh, Scott and Corey tied with 90. Hinkle in the lead 105. We got three more games to go. One of these three players is going to guarantee their spot in the tournament of the champions and possibly win some big prizes before they get there. Final who does it right after we come back to Dealer's Choice. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Dealer's Choice. Right now, Hinkle's in the lead 105. Our champ and Corey both tied with 90, but we go to game number two. Oh, how are we going to tell this apart? What are we going to hit here? What are we going to get? What's it going to be? It's going to be bingo. Yes, the mighty, mighty bingo. You know the rules of this game? Trap will call out numbers until we hit a bingo either top to bottom or left to right, vertically or horizontally, diagonal or the four corners. Should the bingo be hit vertically or horizontally, we pay 2 to 1 odds. If it hits diagonal, we pay 4 to 1 odds. And if it's 4 corners, we pay 8 to 1 odds. Now, however, this game could allow multiple payouts. So, choose wisely who you what odds you're betting. Right now, Hinkle, we're going to start with you this time. Max bet here is 25 chips. I'm going with a mighty 10. Okay, 10 chips. And uh, which odds are you betting on? I'm going with the yellow one. Okay, that's for the diagonal. All right, Corey, we're on you. I'm going to match that on the same on the same bet. All right, he's also going 10, 4 to 1 odds. All right, Scott, your last but not last. I'm going to get, get a little risky here. I'm going to go 20 on the 2 to 1. All right, he's going 20, 2 to 1 odds. Nice push. All right, here we go. Let the bingo numbers begin. We're starting off with a 7. Next number up, we got a 16. All right, nice ball calling out. We got a 1. Next number up, we got a 9. Right. Next number up, we got an 8. Oh, boy. <laughs> Next number up, we got a 4. Scott's looking happy right now. The next number is a 12. Oh, but it's a 14. We continue on. A 13 or a 12 will end this here. Oh, we got a 6. Oh, man. Do you feel it? <laughs> yeah, nope, that's a repeat. Uh, we got another repeat. By God, we got a 12. That's a bingo right there. Top to bottom. Ready to go. Oh, my goodness. There we go. All right. Scott wins his 2-1. to one. Go up to 130. Hinkle will lose his 10 to the house, and Corey as well will lose his 10 to the house. But we got to know what the next number would have been. Would we have four corners next? No, but would have had a 3. Uh, and then a 10. Up, oh, repeat. Yeah, it's been a while before we had a diagonal. 11 out of 13. 11 would have got a diagonal over there, but we got a uh, <laughs> vertical. So, Scott now has the lead with 130, Hinkle 95, Corey 80. But we got two more games to go. One of these three players is going to win big and go to our bonus dice. Who will be final? Welcome back to Dealer's Choice. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Dealer's Choice. It's time for our third game. Scott in the lead with 130 chips, Hinkle with 95, and Corey with 80. 
But this game might change things up. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're back at it again with Blackjack. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is the game that makes or breaks. The objective, try to beat the dealer. Dealer must stand on all 17s. I repeat, the dealer must stand on all 17s. Dealer hits all 16s. That being said, the max chip bet we're starting with Corey is 50 chips. You know what I'm going to do. But I got to hear a confirmation, though. Put it up there. 50. There we go. I need a confirmation. He's putting 50 up there. Scott. Mm, 40. He's putting 40 on it. And Hinkle. Put it 10. He's doing 10. All right. Hinkle's playing conservatively. Let's see if it pays off here. He's helping his opponent's bust. And he wins. All right. And uh, Corey, since you bet it first, you get to cut the deck. How many cards you want to burn? Since it takes two cards to make a natural blackjack, we burn two off the top. And go ahead and tell us what the two off the top were. All right, two off the top. We're at eight and seven. We're at eight and seven. Okay, good. All right. Scott starts off with an eight. Hankel's got a five. Corey's got a six. Okay. Whole card for the dealer. Scott's got 18. Hankel's got a nine. Corey's got 13. Dealer has a queen. Dealer has blackjack. Everybody loses. But the ace is not there. Okay. Scott's got All 18. Right. All right, Scott's got 18. Hmm. I'm feeling fault now. Freeze. He freezes 18. Hinkle, you got a nine against a dealer queen. Please. He takes a hit. You now have an 11. Hit. 21. Got it. All right, Cora, we're on you. Got a third. Got a hit. He's got a hit. You have 17. Stay. Stays on 17. Dealer has a queen. Dealer has 20. Uh. Which means Hinkle is the only one that's going to win. Scott, we got to rake in those 40. Hinkle, we're going to give you one-on-one -on -one odds for 10. And Corey, big bet, but high risk, high reward. Crushes and burns. We rake in 50. At the end of that round, uh -huh. it's still anybody's game. Scott at 90. Hinkle, 105. Corey at 30. But one more game to go. It's anybody's game. And we get to the main event here. Our fourth and final game coming up right at this on Dealer's Choice. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Dealer's Choice. It is time for our final game. Scott at 90, Hinkle 105, Corey at 30. And remember what I said, anybody's game, because we're going to our final game. It's a doozy, but it could bring anybody back. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Total Up. Oh. <laughs> this is the game that'll make or break. As always, our fourth and final game is No Limit, which means... You can bet as little as one chip, or you can go everything you have in your bank, which means anybody can still come back and win. That being said, currently your chip total is what it is, but you will DM me secretly how much you're willing to risk on this final game. Just be a moment or two. Bitch. Fork's stuck. There we go. All right. There you go. Everybody's in. Okay. We're going to start with the chip leader, Hinkle. You have 105 chips. Which odds are you betting? Which odds? I'm going with 21 to 30. Blue. 5-1. Five, 5-1 one. Five, one odds. We now go to Scott. 
I am gonna go for 41 to 50. All right, he's going through to Wands and Corey. Long shot. He's going south. <laughs> you never know if it hits. <laughs> Depending on how much you bet, it's going to be a doozy. And uh, All right, Corey, since you're in last, always person in last place gets the advantage. We have 52 cards here. Out of them, 126. How many you want to burn? Three. He's burning three. Now, oh, what were the first three? Right? The first three, I'll let people know now, was a jack, nine, and seven. <laughs> So I would, I would have, been have been out right, right away. away. Yep, but let's see. It could. This could change the outcome of the game. First card up. We got an eight. Mm -hmm. Four more cards to go. Another eight makes it 16. Three more cards to go. We got a 10 for 26. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, two more cards to go. We got a four for 30. This could be it. Someone may or may not do it. We're at 30. We need something of an ace for someone to win. Oh, it's 33. <sighs> yeah, it's 16, 26, 30, 33. No winner. Complete bust. Nobody wins. Nobody. But it all depends on what chips were betted. <laughs> that being said, we are going to go with Corey in last place. Corey, how much did you bet? You, you know, know what, what I, I did. did. Oh, oh, well. Happy went all in with 30, I see, and that is a loser. He breaks all those chips. Potentially, unless, unless the, the other two do a claim. Play. Yep, they did all in, too. Scott, how much did you put in? I knew I needed to make a push. I bet the works. He, bet the he did a claim in, unless Hinkle pulls it. Oh, my God. Hinkle, mm -hmm. if you pull it, we're going to have the first ever tiebreaker in Dealer's Choice history near the end of the season. It'll be another first. Do it! Hinkle, how much did you go? I went with 50. He went with 50. I don't believe it. Hinkle's done it. He keeps his position. He keeps his position with 55 chips. Oh, man. What a game. Hinkle, 550 is yours because time's about 10. Scott, Corey, oh, it, it was down a wire, but the luck was on Hinkle's side near the end. Did y'all have fun? Yeah. yeah. Gentlemen, do not be disappointed. You were in the top five. All the way to the bitter end, you will stay there. Be proud of that. Hinkle, you have officially secured your spot in Tournament of Champions. But let's see if you can get more cash before you get to your TLC. Yes. You ready for that? I was born ready! The yeah, power was... of friendship triumphs! Yeah, he was born ready, he was born lucky, and he is born to go to the bonus dice again. Find out if you can win it right after this on Dealer's Choice. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dealer's Choice. Brandon Hinkle fought tooth and nail to secure his third place spot. He's done that, but let's see if he can get a little bit more and maybe improve to the top spot if he wins big here. Are you ready, sir? I was born ready! Oh yeah, let's go! Oh, he's excited. Let's not hold off any longer. Let's get those bonus dice. Hinkle, you've been here many a times. You know the objective. Get to $1,000 or more round into that spade. You're going to win $15,000 in cash because last time the jackpot was not won. And we also had another prize, including the trip to Belize. We have a camper trailer worth $12,300, which means if it is successful, over $30,000 in cash and prizes could be won if you defeat these dice. Are you ready, sir? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. All right. The dice are in motion. One spade. It ends the game. Come on, I want to start strong here. Hey, roll him! He rolls him, and we got uh, 350 bucks right off the back here. Yeah! He's uh, starting to have a house of fire, and he's time to keep going. Never mind, Wilson. Those guys are smart, right? Second best. Stop and keep going. Come on, go, go, go! Dice are in motion. Roll him! He rolls up and he gets another 250. Puts him at 600. 
This next roll might do it because the highest you can roll is 400. But do you want to stop or keep going? I'm getting so close to the win. Let's go. Dice are in motion again. Hold on. And ankle. like the trip to Belize and trail will be in the tournament of champions bank and a third prize will be up there because it is a TLC we ain't stopping there with two it's a TLC coming next week oh Hankel you were there man I thought he was going to do it again so close so close but only counts in hand grenades and hush shields and folks we'll be right back to total of Hankel's final score right after this stay tuned for more dealer's choice <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Dealer's Choice. Hankel may have defeated our former champion Sky, but unfortunately those bonus dice came for revenge on Hankel the past few times he won, and they bit him when he was one roll away potentially from taking home everything. Cause four hundred dollars. Stack close, Jenna. Stack close. You were that close, but don't fret. You got another extra five hundred and fifty bucks added on to the overall winnings you had earlier. Leaves you today with thirty nine thousand seven sixty nine. Not a bad haul. And now it's time to announce our top three players that are going to be in the TLC in the future for our TLC episode if we get all three players in for our final day. And they are in third place with $39,769 already been said. It's Brandon Hinkle. Yeah, baby! In Come second, for you! In second place with $41,130, it's Peach. <laughs> And last but not least, our first place player, possibly oh, nobody could have caught him, with $61,295 overall, it's Davion Baker. Yes, and Hello, everybody. everybody. Now, I know a lot of y'all thinking, what happened to Adam Oliver? Originally, he was in second place, but due to some ineligibility, he has been taken out, and thus the person in third and fourth jumped the second and third, which would have been Peach and Hinkle. And that's why Hinkle was here fighting for his spot instead of, you know, waiting for the other third place. But that's how Peach automatically got in with the second. And now Hinkle has secured his third. And when we get all three players back again, it will be the TOC. One of those three players will be declared the ultimate season one champion dealer's choice and fight for over, say it with me now, over a quarter of a million dollars worth of cash and prizes here on dealer's choice. But we'll see you there when we get our three players all together again sometime down the road before the end of the season, which will be hopefully sooner rather than later. And I hope Hinkle, Peach, and Davia can all meet in one day, and we can do this. Hope y'all can. We're going to set this up. <laughs> so good with y'all? Yeah, uh, I'll be there, hopefully. I'll be there. All right, hopefully. Let me know, and I'll be, you know. All right, hopefully, too, and hopefully Peach as well. For all of us here on Dealer's Choice, join us again next time, our TLC finale. It's going to be the Jamaican assassin, Davion Baker, versus the fruity man from Minnesota, Peach. And last but not least, the Tennessee native that loves him some Dollywood corn dogs, Brandon Hinkle, in a triple threat. Not here! <laughs> we'll be fighting for tooth and nail supremacy for Dealer's Choice champion of season one. Final who wins it when we come back. Next time on Dealer's Choice, I'm Terry Wilson Jr. We'll see y'all next time. This has been Dealer's Choice, a DJ comedy channel productions in association with MVG Productions and also in association with Land of Confusion Productions.